Dummies, we are in. It's Scott and Bart, and we're live with Heaven Hill, baby. Woo! It's a Sunday afternoon. Yes. It's been a while. We've been filming. We were filming. And you were busy, so we're just now getting... Normally, we would have put a show out on Saturday, but I had some folks over here doing board gaming on Saturday, and we didn't have any shows to put out, so we're making a little catch-up. What are we doing? Wait. Well, let's say real quick, the title does say Bottled in Bond Trifecta. But we really only have two Bottled in Bonds. It's the old <laughs> six-year Heaven Hill Bottled in Bond against the new seven-year Bottled in Bond that tripled in price. Yes. And then Bart had as well this handle the hand of Heaven Heaven Hill Yeah, uh, 40%. Bourbon. Yeah. Whiskey Scout found me this in Kentucky. Used to be only, only able to buy the six-year Bottled in Bond in Kentucky. He got me this. We actually cracked it for the show here. Now, this used to be incredibly affordable. I want to say $19.99. Well, you got $16 written on it. Holy that. moly. I didn't even look. $16 written right on it. And I think that was later. I really want to say these were like $12 Probably. for the longest. Yes. 12, 13, $11.99 or $12.99 for yeah. a long time. Six year you, bottle. You bond. used to be able to drink bourbon, especially bottled and bond bourbon, on a budget. But now, not so much. This was 50 bucks, and this handle was probably $29.95. That wasn't even $29. You don't think? No. Okay. Uh -uh. That's like probably I like 18 bucks. Whoa. Man, that's good whiskey for 18 bucks. Yeah. You could drink well. But I see a whiskey Franco tuning in. And, Who's this? And Tater? Tater Tater's Dom. In? Tater Dom. Tater. Does that mean you're a dominator of taters? He's a dominator of the tater. The Tater Dom. <laughs> I love it. Great name, Tater. <laughs> Whiskey. Uh, He's looking to make Franco. that Tater his B word. Ooh, he made it his baby. Let's get into uh, real quick. The people will be tuning in here as we go. Sure. Let's yeah, get down to this handle, out. this Heaven Heaven Hill. Before you do that, I'm still sniffing a little bit of an octomore. No, just I put am. it down. We I just can't help it. it. I can't help it. I love um, the Octomore. Yeah, but we're going to a 40%. I'm just I'm bourbon. hinting at what we filmed at. Evan, so the main gist of this is what's the difference here between these two? It's probably been done. I'm sure it's been done. No, we haven't done not it. Not like we've done it. I have seen this, though. I've never seen this on a shelf. And all of a sudden, recently, I've seen it in like four different places. Ooh, hold on a second. We got to bring them on screen. Who? Show it. Big dog? Oh, yeah. Look at this. The bird dog and I say howdy, dummies. You like how you say howdy? What? You you thought I overemphasized? Yeah. Well, so, they didn't say howdy. I think they said howdy. howdy. I went hard with howdy. the Y. Hard with the Y. All right. I'm going in on this Heaven Hill. Go in. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, 40% ABV from Look the at handle. this. Everybody's coming in now. Tater Dong. <laughs> Great mullet. <laughs> now we got to show it. Hold on. You're you're commenting. Look at this. What you got? All right. Uh, the handle. <laughs> Hootie who? <laughs> the sub. What would have been a sub twenty dollar handle? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Probably right about the twenty dollar mark. Not bad. Light is forty percent ABV. Nice. Mm, smoother bourbon. Milk. It is. Yeah, not overly smoother. oaked. This is something I could have sipped on all day long. Yeah. Look at Canadian Chris. Even his photo looks friendly. Cheers, eh? Canadians Cheers, are eh? a friendly folk. Look at Asher. Hootie who? Test it! I hadn't done that. Now, even Canadian Chris with the cheers, a eh? Cheers, eh? Yeah. I don't know if that means he's a boot to go to the store. <laughs> if that, I think that's the far eastern part of Canada. Is that the Canada, far eastern ones? I believe. A boot? A boot. A boot to go to the store? I'm not sure on that one. I don't know. Maybe he's from Regina. Yeah. That's in Saskatchewan. Been there? You've been there? there? You oh. were in Regina? Years ago. Get out of here. Yeah. I got a buddy in Regina. Family took a, Chris, or a Christmas. Uh, he's not a buddy summer. anymore, though. Summer he went anti-LEO. Ah. Enough said. All right. Yeah. All right. So that is great. This is very Some good. People out there have been led astray. Yeah. He was very much led. Uh, this, the old six year that used to be $12 was 
when Bart bought this one, it was $16. Mm. Six-year bottled in bond, Heaven Hill. Whiskey Scout 50%. was in Kentucky. You could only buy this bottle in Kentucky. $16, mm. six years old, bottle in bond, 50%. Soon we will come to this one. All right, definitely more punch okay. than the handle Gotta see. of the Kentucky straight. So more whiskey. punch than the handle. Looks the same. Looks like the little brother. Not a lot of depth. Decent palate. Hmm. The ABV really helping Ooh. this one kind of push it through. I like it. It's yeah. this, but on roids. Yeah. This wouldn't pass the Olympic drug test. <laughs> That's nice. Lots of caramels. The oak is in there. Oh, that's pretty good. This was sealed. I hadn't cracked this. Yep. We cracked this cracked. to do this show. Yep. Because we recently reviewed the seven-year bottle in bond that is now 40 to $50. I have seen it in, in a few different stores now on the shelf. Oddly, I've never seen it before. Maybe that's a sign that the bourbon market is cracking. Really? You think it's cracking? I don't know. Hmm. Or they produced a hell of a lot more of it than they have in the past. It might have. It might have. I do think some people are getting mm -hmm. tired of the bourbon chasing. Okay. Knowing what they were able to do with this for $16, you added add one year and make it 50. Yeah. Seven year bottled in bond, 50%. Right. So add one year bottled in bond, seven years versus six, $16 to $50. Are you kidding me? You kidding me? I took Ooh. one more sip of the six year here. Okay. I'm going to move oh, into oh, the seven. Have you though. done the seven no. yet? Okay. No, just one more sip of the six year. I wanted to get that on the pout. And again, it, it was nice, especially for a 12 to $16 bottle. What do you think uh, Boba Fett would drink? Whatever he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> he would be like, I don't care what you tell me. I'm drinking that or that or that. Yeah. Wouldn't matter. All right. All right. That's good. The wood comes out a little bit more in this uh, in this bottle than bond here. Again, sixteen dollars when I got it. Thank you, Whiskey Scout. This handle is coming at forty percent. This is at fifty percent. Next, we're going to move. Scott's getting ready to taste it now. Seven years, fifty percent ABV. What do we got? Canadian Chris says, "Yep, that's the Eastern Coast accent. The boot, a boot. You got to be far east. Yeah, you're a boot. Uh, he does find himself saying sorry." Sure do, sure do wish Canada had the bottled in bond rules. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? They've got some weird rules up there. Weird rules. All right. He's tasting the seven-year bottle in bond at 50 freaking dollars. Is it better? Is it worth that much more money? There is, there is more depth to it. There is a richer palette. It's sweeter. It's got the mm. heavier right. bourbon notes. It but, is better. But this is like the cousin that's got the job that allows him to buy the Cadillac. It's a little bit show. It's a little bit flashy. Yeah. He's got a little extra something, but he's letting her, letting you know about it. He moved away from the white cap to the little, the little wood cap, changed the bottle style, said, you know what? I got a caddy. I'm a little bit better than you guys. It's not a BMW. No, no. He or a didn't Mercedes. Go, yeah, he didn't go crazy. He didn't go outside the States, baby. Yeah. But he went Cadillac. But nobody's driving a Cadillac. Went, it's not even an Escalade. He went from Chevy or GM. To yeah, Cadillac. right. He had a, This is right here. This is a truck. You could haul stuff with this one. This one over here, that could be anything. This one over here, Cadillac. He's, he's basically a little uppity. Little uppity. What you got? Hello, dummies. <coughs> and chat. Finally done. Finally What's he done. finally done with, though? Everything. Everything. Yeah. Women? Just done. Done with women. Finally done. Finally done. Got it. I'm going back to the six year real quick. I want to go back to the handle. Because if I'm drinking a little bit of Heaven Hill, I want to go handle. Hold on. I think my lips impacted that glass where your <laughs> lips had been. Was it sweet? And I got a fishy taste. <laughs> Don't know what you do. Mm. 
<laughs> Don't do that. That was almost a spit take. <laughs> you surprised me. You caught me off guard. It's hard for the Bruno to catch me off guard. He did it. And I was mid swallow. <laughs> I was mid swaller, as he would like to say it. Holy moly, that was crazy. I started to sweat. I could barely keep that one in. Woo! <laughs> Holy moly, you caught me. This is why I, I miss our lives because that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's comments popping now. The comments are I'm sweating. Woo. That was close. That was close. All right. <laughs> Kiss and cousins. So here's the point of this live stream yes. between these two, the six year and the seven year bottle and bond. The seven year is better. It is. I would I would agree with you, but it's not fifty dollars better. Well, not fifty, it'd be thirty dollars better. Mm. $29.99. You'd have to fake me out with the $29.99. This one was this one when it God was $12 dang, to $13, they killed $16. It. Even in the day, people would be like, you gotta be nuts. It was like remember uh mellow corn. Right. Buy that for like nine bucks. Right. Bottled and bond, hundred yeah. percent corn whiskey. And I got a corn. bottle of it over here. It's got that old 1960s labeling on it. Should be over there somewhere. Yep. Look at this. The bottled and bond was kind of a cool throwback. That's, that's, kind of, that's Heaven Hill. Though, yes, too. it's yeah. in the way, though. Look at this. Look at this. Even the labeling is, it's just, it's its your grandpa's whiskey. And that was part of the cachet. Grab another glass. Let's throw the mellow okay. corn. Let's do, a, let's do some on. mellow corn. Oh, I, mean, I don't you know, know if this is You know the, the right market. way to do mellow corn? Do it in a $50 Riedel. Riedel cognac glass. Cognac glass. <laughs> That's what that mellow corn needs to sit in. All right. Got a little bit of hard water I don't know if in. mellow corn is still available. God, I don't know. I Somebody told it. me it upped in price and they changed it. Idiots. Look this, at that. Yeah, this was like $9. I know, and I love it. I love, it. I love the old the old label. Uh, I love the, the garish colors. Show them a little bit of them garish. Yeah. Look at this. Look at that. It's it looks very like, 1960s. Yeah. It looked mm. it looks like bottom shelf, yes. low budget. Yep. Cheap. And it was 1960s. cheap. It's a it glass was, bottle. Yes, it was bottom shelf, but it was this 100% corn that gave you what you thought you you would want, that corn flavor. I got to try this. And it was shockingly good at $10. Yeah. It still is. Um, well, that's hard to beat. It's sweeter. It's lighter mm -hmm. than the bourbons here. But yeah, for the price point that that used to be now, at. this is a bygone era. It used to be you could pop mm. in and try some stuff with twist off caps, bottled and bond, fifty percent ABV. And really find some great whiskey at a good, good price. Obviously, we moved out of that. But what our show is telling you here is it's there and it will return. What you got? Moody. Scott Moody. Cheers, y'all. Haven't found a Heaven Hill I don't like so far. You know, Look at so, this. Uh, he looks like like the Terminator. Like he was in command. And, and what was it? Uh, Commando. Look at that flat top. <laughs> I don't think that's a flat top. I think it's a flat top. I think he's shaved off the top of that. He looks like he could run a squad. What you got? Canadian Chris says, now I know why Bart cannot do 12 hours of boom. Oh, he can't uh, keep his guard up for yeah. 12 hours straight True. without laughing. True. And spraying. That, ooh, spraying is 100%. I think we could do 12 hours of boom. Six. Just stand up. Six. Just stand up for some of them. I think it's six. Do some episodes where I mean, we're standing. We're getting old. Last time the cushions on the seat we're sitting on hurt my uh, nether regions. The taint? A mm, little bit forward of the taint. <laughs> the volleyballs. <laughs> the volleyballs felt like they'd been speed bowled <laughs> for about a week. I was jacked up. Uh, I was going to say Heaven Hill. Elijah Craig also. Sure. Yep. Good, good products. It is. Yeah. Yep. That's all out of the uh, Buffalo Trace distillery there. No, huh? They're nope. separate. Shut nope, up. they're separate. Buffalo Trace. I had a book on it. Yeah. Heaven Hill. Book somewhere. Or Heaven Hill. Okay. But 
somebody in here knows what's this other comment here coming in oh no that's it that's one i just highlighted oh canadian there it is danny Danny. baby danny fop fop in the house i thought you yelled something else Uh uh-uh fop what do you think I yelled? If you see, whoa, you no, see, uh-uh. yeah, like, what? No, nope. what Bart no. yelling, fop. He knows if what I'm talking about. K. I think he was the I secretary. I think it was the secretary of his lodge. Scott Moody wants to know anyone coming to Austin for the Mooch Fest. Mm-hmm. I may miss it. I may be in Tampa for a Scott SMWS tasting. Ooh, event. Damn, I just hit that so, uh, seven year bottle. That is good. Yeah, it is good. That's it's tasty. Better. I don't, well, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, it is okay, all right. But 50 is versus it, is 16, it that much better? It ain't. Damn, I'm getting a little lit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let's pull. What else can we pull out? Let's pull out some <laughs> more Heaven Hill. Pull out the Elijah Craig barrel proof. Woo! We like to, we like to compare Elijah Craig barrel proof to all kinds Octomore. of more. <laughs> Sorry, uh, my apologies. Um, this was really, I mean, we, we got together and filmed uh, some reviews and it was Sunday. I was like, hey, let's do a live real quick and knock one out. Right. And it's early. And we had these Heaven Hills. I've got my youngest boy. I've got two boys. Yeah. is turning 21. Which tomorrow. stunned me. I still picture him as an eight-year-old. So I've got <laughs> now him, he's 21. I've got him coming over for, for steak and taters later. So I got to get Damn. home and start right. prepping. Right, right. Yeah, and you're good. And by taters, you don't mean simple taters. You're probably doing something special. No, probably just a baked potato. Really? Nothing like a good old baked potato. They're not potato. poached? No. Figured you'd do a poached tater. You could probably smoke them. Ooh. Make a smoked baked potato. I'd love to see good. you all. What is he saying down there? What's Asher saying? I can't quite do it. Something about do it. I'd love to see you all get lit. Do it. Oh, my. This is lit enough. <laughs> Because you mentioned you were getting right I'd, be, I'd be sleeping the rest of the day. <laughs> Although I got, do. Well, I got the mowing out of the way. I'm sure there's a honeydew. Lolo says, crack open that Ardbeg 25. Ooh, hold on. We got I the wish. doctor. The doctor's in here. Mm-hmm. Pull the doctor Lewis in. Luis Sanchez. Pull in old Lewis. The doctor. Bourbon is bad for you. Don't buy it. Don't drink it. Are they gone? Save it for him. Did the bourbon price, bourbon craze stop? Oh, no. We'll have to drive the price down some other way. I know. I think it is going to slow down. I heard people are getting back into uh, fruity drinks. Well, we've actually, I've seen a few people coming into the SMWS Mm. leaving the bourbon because they've actually ventured into some scotches and been surprised by the... Um, yes, the range, variety. Variety. I love the scotch yeah. variety. And they're tired of the bourbon chase. Right. That's a good point. There is a chase of the bourbon, yeah. which is weird because bourbon to me is a little bit samey same. Just saying. Not anti bourbon. Love bourbon. You even it's, know the two bourbons I love most. Uh, the one I go over the top on elijah craig barrel proof well, there's that the bottle of wow and then my second one is because they gave me a truck they didn't really give me a truck the wild turkey rare breed yeah. i even go on and on about their oak looking topper <laughs> crazy i've been doing a boba fett motif here if you end up watching the shows that'll come over the next two weeks you're gonna what are you looking for we don't need to add nothing no i want to take you talk about rare breed all the time rare breed i believe is over there i want to take because there it is i can see it apparently i don't think it's i see it you think it's better than i remember it it's good it's my number two look at this first of all look at this topper they made it bulbous Okay, it's got a bulbous. Nobody they cares. do. They do. presentations king. Pop it. it. Listen to that. They hurt. Oh my God, See? that's disrespectful. Now Nobody they're gonna take back another. my truck and the boat. We're gonna need another glass. I'm running low. I'm going I'm trying to get Bart more lit here. That's not a good glass. Oh. Asher says that Scotch has more character and layers. Oops. Yes. Uh, of flares, flavors, unlike bourbon. Can't believe. Can't believe you threw that topper. And we are going to ask are, some questions here. There are there are some really good bourbons, and there, I mean bourbon is good whiskey, but it is hard. There's few that break out of the flavor profile. Mm-hmm. 
before you try what is arguably the second best bourbon, we're going to go into what I like as a game mode here. Try it. I'm not what would you miss most about your home? Oh, this is good if you moved. So do you want to think about your current residence or do you want to think about my pool? Yeah. You used to have a place with a pool. That's what I was thinking. So That's right okay. off the bat, you missed a pool. Wild turkey's good. Well, I need to try it. Hold on. I mean the rare breed. This is rare breed here. It's first of all, that means it's rare. And it's a breed. Ooh. Mm. What you talking about, Willis? That's unbelievable. That's good. Got a little That's kicker. Okay. I mean, it's it's better than yeah. it's better than it's better than everything else we got here. It doesn't. So it doesn't deserve a woo. It did. It just caught me off guard how good it was. So you would miss your pool, or you do miss your pool? Yes. Okay. What would I miss? Okay, you can't see it, but if you look at any of my uh, several of my um, my little live shows where I'm trying something where I don't know what's in it, my built-in bookshelves. I have these bookshelves that house all, literally, and I'm not kidding, a thousand board games. A thousand. I would miss that. Try it again. It's going to make you catch your breath. Going Okay, from the seven year. Yes, now. Heaven Hill bottle. And now bond. dive deep into the WT, yeah. baby. The rare wild rare turkey. breed. The wild turkey rare breed. The WTRB. Come on. That shocked your palate. Come on. That's better. It's okay. It's a higher proof. It's better. It's a nice palate. It is. It's better. It's a little better. I'm not even sure it's higher proof. Yeah. I'm worried about it because you threw the it's cap. It's 50 some percent. You threw the cap across. <laughs> I can't read it. It's yeah. like 50 something. I yeah. can't tell what it is. Rear breed's higher. Bar on. See, it's barrel proof. It says it right God, there on the label. That's why it's so good. It's good and it's very. It's just affordable. a no. It's just a stronger. It's very affordable, one. but it's rich. It's it's like it's a, probably a bar. It's this is seven years old. It's probably seven to eight years old. It's just a higher proof version of this. A lot of brown sugar. One it's more okay. question, then Elijah, we'll see. Elijah Craig barrel proof better. That's good. Who's like who is your favorite professional athlete? John Elway. What? No, is it like current though? Does it no, no, whatever. Retired? Whatever. I'm going to still say Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's skill set is unbelievable. He's the same height as me. I can't do nothing. He would jump from half court, not really half court, from the free throw line, come in with that tomahawk and slam it while he jumped over people. Loved it. <laughs> Loved it. Scott Moody says, Bart, are you still hosting the board game channel? Please don't oh, yeah. please don't encourage him, Scott. Bonding with board games and RPGs. Go check that out. We did a live show this morning. Oh, Hello. I think I highlighted multi-casket. Charlie tuning in. Ooh, what's up? What's up? Uh, and then Big Dog said, a whiskey channel, Christmas on Crestline oh, in the yeah. house. Yep, yep that's yep. Christmas on Crestline. Charlie said we did sister yes. Sister's channel. We did something for Charlie that helped him out, and I can't remember what it is. He said we did something that he found very valuable. Can't remember. I don't know. Sniper. Eric oh, Waite whiskey study. Eric Waite's in. in the sniper. One shot, one kill, baby. He sends out these comments that just he kill says, the Do you know how to keep monkeys curious? Oh, see, there we go already. Yep, I know. What I, do you do? I don't even, I don't know if we want to even, do we even answer or just ignore I it? I think you do. He's pretty clean. It. He's pretty clean. I think he'll that's, have some he's sniper not gonna answer. Comment. He's not going to answer. And that's how he's, he's just going to leave you say, hanging. Yeah. And that's how you keep monkeys oh, curious. Oh, God dang. That guy's a genius. <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking about. The sniper. He would never follow up on that. You'd be lost. What do we got here? John Elway, great player, horrible GM. That is I, true. You know, here's the, well, I didn't like his GM. Well, he did get Manning in. I, th I think, I think what it should it highlights the problem that teams have with finding a good quarterback, not a and good, a good coach, not a good a marquee. That's your two most important positions: coach and quarterback. And the Broncos have had just this carousel of coaches. Yeah. 
It's not good. You need, to, you need carousel you of need coaches and quarterbacks. Yeah. Wow, you got a lot of C's. Yeah. Consistency, carousel, quarterback. That's a Q. Yeah. Close. Right. Sounds like it. Sounds right. like a, it a hard it C. Says, but, a hard yeah. C. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right on. Yeah. It's it's painful to have the Kansas City Chiefs beat us eight years in a row. That sucks because yeah. we're in KC Chief territory. Patrick, I always tell Patrick him, Mahomes does yeah, kind of help he's that He's a marquee quarterback. But I tell that him, shows you. hey, yeah, if you guys are really good, you'll be able to go back-to-back. Back. They're mad because they haven't gone back-to-back back yet. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Broncos did. They almost did with me. It's hard. It's very it's hard, hard to do. Yeah, there's only six teams that have done it. <clears throat> what is low, low? But I think the thing is, though, I think only a handful of teams out there have that great quarterback. Right. That can get them through thick and thin, right? And it's finding that good quarterback. Yeah, and you can't tell until they start. Yeah, multicasting just mentioned, and multicasting. We have you in an episode where we mentioned that. What did he say? These did saved his life. Saved his life. Yeah, Yeah, I think think they saved his life. That's how he put it. Yeah. So he says they're freaking legit. You know why? They got a grommet. They got a little rubber grommet, and it saves your whiskey. So if you've got good whiskey, kind of like that handle, <laughs> this will save it. So you want to get it. Ooh. I've got a good follow-up question. Are you ready? Who's the most optimistic person you know? Me. Damn, you should be me. I'm way more optimistic than you. What are you talking about? I'm not negative. <laughs> What are you talking about? You think you're the most optimistic person? Mm -hmm. Really? God dang. Why? I always look at the bright side. Things happen for a reason. Everybody does like Everything that's happened to me has worked out for the better. That's true. That's almost me too. But you are, no, you are resistant to change. That's your downfall. For how long? That's why you're not. Since I was 20 though? Come on. When did that happen? You've known me since uh, last I was 24. 15 years. 15 since we were, years. Since we were sergeants out Really? East, I've become first, resistant to change? Oh, yeah. What? I you think hate I, change. I flow like the river. No. <laughs> you hate change. What are you talking about? Anything that changes is a. Uh, is, uh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's interesting. I'm going to have That's to. really the only reason. I mean, that's. Okay. All right. Resistant to change. <clears throat> you just mean whiskey world. Uh uh-uh. uh. Everything. No work. Holy crap. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. God damn. Work's been changing a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Police work used to be a ball. <laughs> <laughs> so, interesting. Okay, so you're the most optimistic person you know. Well, you know what See, that Ash, means? Asher says that Elway passed on Mahomes and drafted Garrett oh, I don't think we had a chance at Mahomes. I don't think we did. He went too early in the draft. We would have to to trade clear up to get him, I believe. So let me answer this question the same way. Who's the most optimistic person I know? Scott. (laughs) (laughs) I've got one more we'll answer in a little bit. Get to some of these comments, and then I'll hit a card. Uh, Eric Waite said, are either you going to be at the Bastards Ball this year again? I don't think I'll even make it. Um, I I may be in Tampa for the SMWS for the October outturn. Damn. Unfortunately, yeah, apparently I'm uh entrenched and I will not change. Matthew Park says, Love the banter, respect the banter, right? We have good banter, we've always had good banter. Our banter goes back to 1996. Oh, yeah, true. 95, 96. Did you ride with me in 95? I don't think you did. I think it was on relief when, when I came out October. Yeah, it was probably well. Yeah. I don't know. We probably we might have got paired up. I think it was January of '96. We got paired up, and then I fell down. You gotta, you (laughs) gotta. Some of you gotta hear that story at some point. I won't even tell that story unless Scott's present. Yeah. Canadian Chris, resistant to change. Have Bart talk about seven hundred milliliter bastards. Bastards. (laughs) It should be seven (laughs) fifty. I'm gonna go ahead and just concede. Because, yeah, I want seven fifty. <laughs> I want whiskey at $16. <laughs> That's a good point. It's a very good point. What is this? He was a pole vaulter. What's he talking about? I missed a – my favorite professional athlete was Pee Wee Herman. Goodness. He was a pole vaulter. Sounds dirty. 
I think so. I you think, think so? he got caught in the dirty movie theater. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, let's wrap. Oh, oh, no, we one got more one question. more, one more. All right. And I don't even know what these are. Which piece of land would you preserve forever? Which piece of land would you preserve forever? I know what mine is. I'm a big World War II guy. Oh. Which piece of land would you preserve forever? I think it's I think it's gonna be preserved, but I would just say it just came from there, like the Rocky Mountain Ooh. range itself. But if you really, you would more specific, that. the Rocky Mountain National Park area. Wow. wow. See, I always thought Rocky Mountain National Park was a little boring because it looked like my backyard. <laughs> it was terrible. I'd go up there, I'd be like, Why do we come here? This looks like the backyard. I grew up in the mountains of Evergreen. I was like, this looks like nothing different. But I was a little clueless. I should have backpacked in. Here's what I would preserve forever, although it's already changed, the beaches of Normandy. What those guys did on Utah Beach, pushing in against a wall of lead, is amazing to me. And they made it happen. Oh, my God. You're doing a suicide? We made a blend here. I made, I made a blend with all these. And made a blend. a rare breed as well. Right. He threw in a little rare breed. One last touch. And it's not Utah Beach, it's Omaha. I mm. made a mistake there. Omaha Beach. Utah Beach was trouble, but not as bad as Omaha. Omaha! Ooh, Eric Waite would preserve Isla. That's a good call. Mm. National Parks from Matthew Park. Woo! Wow. Mm. I mm. get all uh, Kentucky there. Woo! Yeah, God, that's dang, actually pretty that's nice. That's all Heaven Hill. Well, except for the rare breed. It didn't come through. Probably because somebody chucked the court. <laughs> all right. Hey, thanks to everybody that tuned in. We appreciate it. Seven-year Heaven Hill bottle in bond is better than the six-year. Is it, it worth is. the price? No, that's it is not. It is not. I will make a determination, but apparently I'm entrenched in my ways. Scotch it. You. Scotch. God. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies. Thanks to everybody tuned in. Omaha, Omaha. Yeah. <laughs> Set. Omaha. Hurry, Omaha. hurry.